as of 2022 I have been diagnosed with fibroids and quite large cysts. So my mum caught Covid quite early on. So my personal story is about um, I guess navigating healthcare with a skin condition, um, uh, specifically having eczema and going through what I believe in other people in the community um, would say is topical steroid withdrawal. In 2021, I was feeling within myself um, some hormonal changes. Thanks to TikTok and the internet, um, I came across a lot of people going through like P PCOS, lots of fibroid stories, and basically from there, I was like, maybe this could be me. Seven years ago, I was diagnosed with what I thought was just two fibroids. I was suffering with lots of pains, lots of symptoms that would be likened to just heavy painful periods. I went to my doctor, he said it's nothing. But as a woman, you know your body, so I went to see a female doctor and she said in the first instance it's probably just a cyst on your ovary. But she got me in for an ultrasound with the hospital and they found out I had two fibroids. You know your body, 100%. Sounds so like corny, but like trust yourself. Say so you know your own body, you know how your body works, you know what pain is, and if someone isn't listening to you, which is typically your doctor, change doctors. Get someone who will listen. There are still massive health inequalities between black and their white counterparts. Well, in this case with fibroids, black women are disproportionately affected. So I do feel because of this, because of the race aspect, that there isn't a willingness to pump money into that side of things. That black women are strong. And you don't have to be strong and you don't have to be in pain. There's different ways of being strong. And that narrative has been pushed into healthcare as well. It's institutional, it's structural. When it comes to the, to the education side, there being, yeah, you know, textbooks on black and brown people putting those studies into action funding needs to go into healthcare in general especially for women it'll be the menstrual health so womb health we can also ensure that we continue to educate on the front of this is what's normal this is not what's normal we've got the statistics we have the evidence that we know that it's there so now we need to have actual laws and health policies in place mm -hmm. And that's where Hitano comes in. So Hitano in my native language, Ashona translates to health, and that's exactly what we're focusing on. We want to be able to make sure that the health of black and brown people, like the people that you saw in the video today, are represented when we're having these conversations. We are focusing on amplifying your voices to improve our health. And we plan to do this by connecting people, data and research to improve our health outcomes. If you want to know more information about what we're doing, visit us over at Hitano.